This is the tie wing, a combination of set number 75300 and set number 75301. And as I said in part one of this series, I made this build before LEGO released this set, so I had no idea this was coming. I thought LEGO was watching my house, and they saw what I was building and put it in a show. It was very weird. But anyway, this build is super cool and was definitely not stolen from LEGO. Let's take a closer look. So this build is basically just the X-Wing body with the TIE Fighter wings. I did have to take apart the TIE Fighter wings and split them in half because it really wouldn't have worked if I'd left them whole. So they are built a little bit differently. They can also adjust a little bit, although they are very fragile. A new addition to the set is the landing gear. It uses this piece, and this is just because it has to be the same height as the wings, and I did make this with pieces in the set, and that works pretty good. You can put Luke Skywalker in the X-Wing, of course, because it's just the same X-Wing body. I would recommend doing it when the wings are not on it, though, because of how unstable it can be with the wings. It for sure is a display model. You can also put R2-D2 in, of course. But yeah, overall, this is a really cool model, and like I said before, it's much more of a display model than it the other custom I made from these sets, but I still think it looks amazing. And one last time, I didn't copy Lego.